Families benefit when you reserve your ticket to the dream home and that new car. That money allows kids to receive care at absolutely no cost. One of those kids, Maya Collins, her mother Bonnie, joins us this afternoon. Bonnie, we lost Maya in 2017 as she fought hard to the end. So why does St. Jude Children's Research Hospital mean so much to your family? Well, um, gosh, I can't even express how much we love and adore St. Jude. I mean, we, Maya was diagnosed in 2011. Um, she had two bone marrow transplants at Cincinnati Children's. Um, she relapsed again four years later, and we really had limited options at that point. Um, we reached out to St. Jude after we had spoke to another family who had been there and had an amazing experience, and their child was is cured. Um, we reached out to St. Jude. They flew us out there free of charge. They met with us. They told us we were, you know, they were going for the cure, and that's all we needed to hear. Uh, we packed up our bags, um, moved to St. Jude. Um, everything while we were there was completely paid for. Um, our food, our housing, we were put in these beautiful furnished apartments. It was called the Target House. Um, all of her medicines, all of her treatments. She had a third bone marrow transplant. It was a trial transplant while we were at St. Jude. Um, and it, it, I don't know if a lot of you out there know that a bone marrow transplant costs over a million dollars. When we were at Saint, uh, Cincinnati Children's, we received bills for $1 million each. Um, when we were at St. Jude, we never received a bill. It was completely paid for. She ended up in the ICU for several weeks. $40,000 a day in the ICU. We never saw a bill. Wow. Um, so it was a, it was an amazing experience. It gave our family hope. Um, we're eternally grateful for St. Jude. You know, so you have been one of those parents who has received that bill. You know, it's it's enough that your child is sick and fighting for their life. And then it's another thing that you open the mail and it's day after day of those bills that just keep pouring in. St. Yeah. Jude relieves some of that for these families. So you all, you know, are working hard to continue um, to help other families who, who might need that care from St. Jude. Yes, we, uh, we formed a nonprofit. Unfortunately, Maya did pass away um, in 2000, 2017, but we did form a nonprofit in her honor, the Live Like Maya Foundation, and we completely support St. Jude, um, and we just want to pay it forward for everything that the hospital did for us. Um, and we want to help families. We do a lot of help a lot of families here locally as well. Um, but we're just eternally grateful for St. Jude and all that they did for us. So we just want to pay it back. Well, Bonnie, we thank you so much for joining us this afternoon, sharing your story and also working hard toward this cause and, and to help other families and help other kids uh, around the, the state, the country, the world, really. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon.